Rutherford, New Jersey, home of the world's greatest harness action. And here are tonight's conditions. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, a minus one variant, 38 degrees, seasonable, and the track is fast. And hi, good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on Fox Sports New York. A very special evening. It is the Winter Festival Saturday here tonight. Five Winter Series championships highlight a blockbuster card, our third annual Winter Festival here. Also, we've got a jackpot pick seven carryover of over $31,000 starting with the third race, races three through nine. Right now, the Sumac Lad Final gets the daily double underway, and the heavy favorite, of course, is Super Grit. He goes for a record eight straight here at the Big M. New York Speed Limit, runner-up in the off. last two legs. It's Noblet's finale for the late. There goes Glory's Comet with Foolish Times in third. Round the first turn. That is Moseyev with Noblet's Finale. On the outside, Glory's Comet. Foolish Times in third. And then after that, New York Speed Limit. Georgia Limited fifth. To the outside now, Super Grit is on the move for Mark Jordan. Again, still on that break is B Corp Pete. Then it's Super High Test. Another two and a half. Yentl's Iceman and off stride, Lark's Luke. 28-3 for the quarter. Down the back stretch they trot. And Glory's Comet with the lead. On the outside, New York Speed Limit the challenge. And New York Speed Limit Pierce will go right on by. Glory's Comet second. Noblet's finale third. A Super Grit is first over uncovered, grinding it out. Followed by Super High Tests, working out a good trip. Then it's Foolish Times in sixth. After that, Yentl's Iceman and Georgia Limited. Half, 57 and 3. On to the far turn. New York Speed Limit now pressured by Super Grit. Well, that's Super High Test stalking those two leaders in third. Glory's Comet in fourth. Yentl's Iceman. Third over within striking distance, fifth. They approach three quarters. New York Speed Limit not through yet. Pressure from Super Grit who has his work cut out for him tonight. Three quarters. 126 and 2. They come to the top of the stretch. And it's New York speed limit. Super grit right there. But Jordan has to go to work on him. Here comes super high test. Then it's a length and a half to Yentl's Iceman. In deep stretch, super grit is all out. Here comes super high test. And up on the outside, Yentl's Iceman. Upset here in the sumac lad as Yentl's Iceman takes it in 155. Showed late trot last Sunday, and the Iceman cometh tonight. Super Grit can't quite endure, and a Hall of Fame drive by Bill O'Donnell spoils a brilliant drive by Jim Morrill Jr., O'Donnell's fifth sumac lad. Ben Wallace said he changed his hobble length and shoeing this week, and the balanced image six-year-old responds with a lifetime best owned by Wallace and Dennis Klein. The second race, the Aquarius final for 56000 No trifecta, no show wagering. Scratch four, Kate's nuke. Red bow tie under a stranglehold last week. Look to get an early spot second. Around the first turn. And Moseyev hustles Red Longshard shot to the front. That's Red Bowtie second a length and a half. Yankee Cam third. Would burn that bridge fourth a length and a half. Entry mate Manevison fifth. Off stride is Party Stop. Party Stop on a break. And Rocker by. Quarter 26 and 2. A blistering opening fraction. And it's now Red Bowtie and Campbell a brush for the lead. Red Star long shot second with Yankee Cam third. Then it's another two. Burn that bridge fourth. The outside Manevas in fifth. Rocker by a sixth and four. Party stop. They approach the half and it's Red Bowtie. Now comfortably on the lead for Campbell by two. Red Star long shot second. Here comes Manevas First over. The outside third. Rocker by. Second over trip. The half 54 and four. Onto the far turn and Red Bowtie, the one to catch. Pocket, Red Star long shot. Parked is magnificent. Yankee Campbell on the inside fourth. Rocker by in the contention fifth. They approach three quarters. Red Bowtie leads it by three parts of a length. Trying to hang in there is magnificent. Three quarters, one, 23 and three. Three sixteenths to go and they're on their way home. And Red Bowtie, Campbell going to work. Will we see another upset? Here comes Red Star long shot. Sure looks like it. Red Star long shot blows right by. Here comes entry mate Yankee Cam into second, but it's Red Star long shot winning the Aquarius 
Yankee Cam second in 152. That's two huge upsets so far tonight. Jack Moiseev won this three years in a row tonight. He rockets out of the pocket with the four-year-old by Vereen, owned and bred by Robert Murphy of White Rock, British Columbia. The red-hot trainer Nancy Corley. Moiseev credited Red Star's gate speed and consistency, plus the faster fractions helped soften up red bow tie. Campbell said he just wasn't himself tonight. The third race, the Exit 16 W Man, final. Noble Crusader, love him and leave him. A solid Blair Burgess entry. Tulane goes for a sweep. Love him and leave him around the first turn. And Noble Crusader leads it a length and a half. Fire everybody. Second him on the outside. Love him and leave him. Off stride is fire everybody. Fire everybody on the break. Scatters the field a bit. Tulane is settled in third. Another two back to Traveling Man. Then two and a half. Courier Hanover. Three more, forward direction. Length and after Austin with Mr. Mikey and Fancy Creek Ideal. 27 seconds for the quarter. And Noble Crusader by two. Love him and leave him has dropped in second. Traveling man, tough first over trip third. Then it's Tulane in fourth. Courier Hanover up on the rim fifth. Forward direction of the outer flow six. Fancy Creek Ideal seventh. Two more to Austin and Mr. Mikey. Halftime, 57 and one. Big time breather for Noble Crusader there in that second quarter. Pressure from traveling man. Wren looking behind for the competition. Love him and leave him in third. Uh, then it's Courier Hanover. Up on the rim, fourth. They approach the three quarters. And Noble Crusader. Wren will look to put it in another gear now, but still traveling man not going away. Three quarters and one, 25 and three. 316 to go and they're on their way home. Noble Crusader getting leg weary. Trying to move through an opening on the inside is Love Him and Leave Him. Campbell right there with Courier Hanover. And Fancy Creek Ideal and Brennan in deep stretch. It's Courier Hanover in front by two and staying there. Courier Hanover wins the exit 16 W. Fancy Creek Ideal second. 153 and 2. The stretch drive claiming its victims tonight. The winner, a $170,000 yearling injured at 2, brought back perfectly by Renee Larman. Now the senior trendsetter champ is 8 for 13 lifetime, 4 for 6 here. The Arts Place 4 year old still green, according to John Campbell, but loaded with talent. Conditioned here by Bruce Saunders for Robert Grand Holdings of Campbellville, Ontario. It's PLJ can be successfully treated. Once men come in to see us, they wish they'd done it sooner. Back with a fourth race, four-year-olds, a 50 claimer, all in for 62-5. Moonlight Raker, last week's bias buster, hard to pass, loves to pass horses. Nuclear Sun tries claimers. Pistol with Moonlight Raker around the first turn. Quality fresh on the inside. Looking to drop in second is Tommy's pistol, and Parker will get that two-hole. And it's Moonlight Raker in third at the outside. It's between two thieves and Campbell, fourth. Corey's big guy, fifth by two, then perfect bid. Another length and a half to town dance, two more. Hard to pass, the trailers are Dr. Hopkins and Nuclear Sun, quarter in 27 and three. One the catch, now tipping out is Quality Fresh. Campbell on the inside with between two thieves, needs some room. In deep stretch, Moonlight Raker with between two themes, and up on the far outside, hard to pass, hard to pass. Coming on to win it, down in second, up for third late, quality fresh. Well, Rene Pullen may be known for his piking prowess, yet here he times his late move perfectly on a night tailor-made for the four-year-old by No Nukes, trained by Charles Kaminsky for Sanford and Corinne Goldfarb. Race five, the Night Styles final $73,700. Scratch six, Lions Matitude okay, sick. Pan Yankees, four for five, tackles post eight. Gussie's play seeks a sweep for his model. Between horses, Robin Log shows early speed. And on the rail, Gussie's place is out alertly. Gussie's place and Robin Log tussling early as they head to the opening quarter. Miss Mischievous moves up now, slides in third. True Tucson, Campbell take a seat in fourth. Cajun Soaklace got away fifth. Bye Bye Shatsy is sixth. Sign in the sand is seventh. Pan Yankees parked out eighth now. And at the back is one cadet. First quarter was 28 seconds. Down the back stretch. And now here comes Campbell with True Tucson. A guns to the top. Takes the lead away from Gussie's place. 
Robin Log pacing third. Miss Mischievous is fourth up the back stretch. Cajun Silk Lace is fifth. Sign in the Sand on the outside sixth. Bye Bye Shatsy is seventh. Still backed up near the back of the pack. Pan Yankees trying to get underway. And then it's one cadet and over at the half mile. And it's Gussie's place now. He's got the top again in a slow 58 and two. Gussie's place, Ron Pierce. They're looking for a sweep here of this series as they race to the far turn. True Tucson is now racing second. Attacking first over Miss Mischievous and George Brennan trying to rouse that one. Sign in the sand picks up that cover now fourth. Robin Log is dropping out of it fifth. Pan Yankees now starts to kick in three wide with Mike Lachance. Still has some ground to make up. One cadet trying to fly from the back. Three quarters, 127 and four and they turn for home. It's Gussie's place. Gussie's place by two. The ball's in her court. Ron Pierce is rocking, driving, whipping, trying to get her home. On the outside, here comes Pan Yankees. They're closing in Miss Mischievous. And from way out of it, one cadet and Jim Morrill Jr. is cooking with that one. One cadet roaring up to take the lead. And it's one cadet to the upset here. Pan Yankee was up for second in 156 and one. The parade of upset ralliers continues. This four-year-old by Armbro Cadet scored back-to-back -back in the Comforter Series, a beaten favorite in her last two, but right trip, right night. Storms home from last tonight with Jim Morrill Jr. for trainer Joe Anderson and Gordon and Claudia Wright of Charlotte, Michigan. The sixth race, the winner's over for 30,000 scratch five Trump Casino. Bad Bird exploded in 26 and one. Hey, Ultimate Falcon, all Brennan's all Choice, flew home in 25 and four. Free Spenders shook loose in 26. With Free Spender in third around the first turn and Campbell quickly. Well, but LD's Jonathan on the lead. Rockefeller second with Free Spender in third. Then a length and a half California connection. Another two back to Bad Burt. Then a length and a half Ultimate Falcon with Toontown. Then it's two more. Silent Victim and Anne's Argyles. Quarter, 28 and 1. And Free Spender trying to hold off Campbell with LD's Jonathan. On the outside, Bad Burke. The inside, Rockefeller. Far outside, it's Toontown. But in deep stretch, LD's Jonathan. In front, Toontown up for second. Bad Burt third, 152 and one. The die laughing five-year-old is almost never parked out. He's strictly a trip horse and Campbell smartly uses his gate speed to get a pocket journey and rockets home at 27 and gets the jump on the closers here for trainer Carl Conte Jr., Dubin, Grasso, Fadira, and Wynick. We've got clowns, face painters, wagon rides, slap shot hockey with Ron Gilbert and Chico Resch, PLJ Family Day right here tomorrow. Fox Sports News, prime time. It cost millions to land the champion Marlins. Now, what about the new guys on the block? Monday, the dollars and cents of expansion. Fox Sports News, prime time on Fox Sports New York. This week on Going Deep, Lakers' future meets Lakers' past as James Worthy sits down with the NBA's youngest all-star, Kobe Bryant. Going Deep, Sunday at 9 on Fox Sports New York. Top shelf claimers clash in the seventh race. Keystone Tad on a roll has doubled his tag. Falcon Dakota back in form. Honus highlight fresh off the big Corley claim. Inside it's Magic Warrior. Round the first turn. And it's Slug of Gin and Manzi with the lead. Dropping in second, Hearts Tiger. Then it's the three to Magic Warrior. Length and a half, Keystone Tad. Falcon Dakota. Then it's Honus highlight. Another two more, Ombro Oliver. Then two to Master Lawrence. Solar Galaxy and Alar. Quarter, 27 and 1. On his highlight. Not a sweep to the front with an eighth to go. Magic Warrior still second up on the outside. Alar and Master Lawrence. But it's all Campbell to get his third of the night with Honus highlight. Drops home by four. Up for second, Alar, Master Lawrence third. Rally to upset in the complex final, claimed by Nancy Corley off a sharp speed try on a two-wire night, steps up in class here and powers away for new owner Eric Cherry of Highland Beach, Florida. Race eight is the overbid final for $59,000. Ty Namera, no worse than second here. Part of a three-ply entry at six to five. Sanibel Island super on top. Cami Whitestocking was giant in victory. Fourth. As they around the first turn, Ty Namara, Kent, and uh, Campbell 
Cuts the corner with that one, but it's Spirit of Ivy will take charge here. Spirit of Ivy at 45 to 1 with Jim Morrill Jr., Ty Namera, and John Campbell looking to reclaim the lead quickly. Art in the Park is third. Dalon Tempo got away fourth. Terry Terrific is fifth. It's Mystical Maddie sixth. The one if by Pan is seventh to the outside goes Santa Bell Island, who's lagging early with Cami Whitestocking and Shady Willow. The opening quarter 27 and 4. Down the back stretch, it's Campbell and Ty Namera. Spirit of Ivy is racing second. Art in the Park is third, with Dalon Tempo edging out fourth, followed by Terry Terrific, fifth now. Mystical Matty is sixth. One if by Pan, entry made is seventh. Moving up on the inside, Shady Willow, Santa Bell Island next to last, and the trailer, Cami Whitestocking. The half 56 and four. Campbell controlling it here with Ty Namara as they race onto the far turn. Get some pressure now from Art in the Park, attacking first over with Pierce. On the inside, Spirit of Ivy, a perfect trip now surging three wide. Here comes Santa Bell Island now to join the fray. She's fourth, now third on the outside, and Cammie Whitestocking is gearing up right behind her, tracking every move. Three quarters, 125 and three, and the action heats up. There's trying to swarm in on Ty Namara. It's Ty Namara. Santa Bell Island is right there with Art in the park, battling gamely, hanging in there. Ty Namara still on top. Art in the park, Santa Bell Island flattened out. Here comes Cammie Whitestocking on the outside, but Ty Namara's dead game. Ty Namara, John Campbell, fourth winner of the night. Art in the park was second. Well, Campbell said he was worried about being on top tonight, but was surprised with the lack of action. This five-year-old by Safe and Rich rated and dug in to equal White Ruffles stakes record for Stutzman, Pothier, and Peter Pan Stables. That's Campbell's fifth overbid final victory. On we go with race nine, a Dara Fiddle, a tough trip off the King claim. Skip in, Morrill Jr.'s choice over the three, Adara Fiddle. Sneaky Hanover Pierce's option here over the five, Jody's camp. Shows some speed towards the inside as they round the first turn, and it's ran with VP Finance, who sails up and takes charge. Sharp Attack settles in second. Duke of Abbey got away third. It's Adara Fiddle, the favorite is fourth. Skip N is fifth. Up on the outside, Barrett Gold from sixth. Jody's Cam is racing seventh, then it's Kenny Hanover, and Splendid Splinter at the back is Sneaky Hanover. First quarter, 28. Down the back stretch, it's the one. Sharp attack now up front with Mike Lachance at uh, six to one here. VP Finance is second, Duke of Abbey is third. Charging up here comes a Dara Fiddle, and uh, George Brennan urging that one on. Skip in, gets underway now from fifth. On the outside, Barrick Gold is sixth. Jody's Cam is seventh. Kenny Hanover underway from eighth. Splendid Splinter is ninth. And Sneaky Hanover is the trailer of the half mile. 57 and two now. And it's uh, Dara Fiddle on top here. The two to one favorites got the top as they race to the far turn. Skip and take same on the outside. Comes up now to match strides. It's a Dara Fiddle and Skip and stride for stride now as they battle to three quarters. And right there looming is Barrett Gold and Lou Pellucci. Well situated second over. Sharp attack on the inside. Kenny Hanover up third over now and fans to the outside. Right behind that one is a splendid splinter. Three quarters, 126 and one. They're in the stretch. And it's a Dara Fiddle. George Brennan asking for more here. Adara Fiddle now rebuffed Skip in, but here comes Campbell charging with Kenny Hanover on the outside. And right behind that one is Splendid Splinter, but it's Kenny Hanover powering to the front. That gives John Campbell his fifth winner of the night, up for second Splendid Splinter. Runner up in the 95 Meadowlands pace, slowly coming around, coming to hand for trainer Kevin McDermott. The no nuke six year old, just shy of 700,000, and now owned by Samson Street Stable, the Elegant Stable, and Silver. Turn the page, look at race 10, and Kendall Missiles, a stone closer who could repeat. And Master Miles, tonight's PSE and G pick. Ramsey's two, Brennan's choice over the three and nine. Blues end shows some speed, but it's Jim Morrill Jr. and Master Miles right to the front around the first turn. The gray Sacramania drives up for Manzi. New York Blues End settles in third by two. Perfect Art got away fourth. Kendall Missile is fifth. Tough Knight is sixth as they march to the quarter. Then it's Shadow Dance seventh. Ramsey's two is eighth. And Armbro Peregrine is ninth. They're single file. Master Miles, the best at the quarter in 28. Start on the inside now, and Master Miles on the outside is Collaringham. 
And Master Miles now takes the lead. Digging in, perfect art. Between horses, Sacromania. Trying to rally from far back is Ramsey's two. But it's Master Miles and Jim Morrill Jr. Master Miles is home in 153 and two. Perfect art with second, Sacromania third. Big time class relief, the stark angle here, noted for his consistency in fast final quarters. He leaves, yields, then pops out of the pocket for his first win of the season over lesser stock here with Jim Morrill Jr. driving for Mark Gizmodel and owner George Bonomo of Chicago. It's PLJ Family Day. Lahar showed his class for Kismodel. First turn. Large in the life of a chance. Nuclear design over the far outside Manzi. Beach of Faith three wide. Then it's Goya Blue Jim in fourth. Another length and a half to Lahar. Luna goes to Lombre. After that, Bunny kisses the trailers. Simon says, spectacular deal and oh, what a hero. Quarter, 27 and one. And it's Beach of Eighth with the lead. Surging up on the outside is Goya Blue Chip. And Schnitt will put Goya Blue Chip on the lead. Beach of Eighth in second. That's Nuclear Design third. Here comes Lahar and Pierce. Moving swiftly now. And then it's larger than life fifth. Another two, Bunny Kisses. Luna goes to Lombre in seventh. Simon says in Campbell eighth. Trellers are over to Hero. And spectacular deal. Half. 56 and 4. On to the far turn, and it's Lahar who clears the lead from Goya Blue Chip. Larger than life in third, with Beach of Faith fourth. They approach three quarters. Lahar by a length and a half. Goya Blue Chip right there, second. Larger than life in third, and then it's Beach of Faith. Three quarters. 125 and 3. They're on their way home. Lahar, the one to catch. Here comes Schnitger and Goya Blue Chip. That is another length and a half. And larger than light. And a close one far out of it. Simon says, in deep stretch, Goya Blue Chip trying to hold off. Larger than light. Larger than light. Get it up at the wire. Back to a dangerous level, a chance went first over, then tucked in for a breather on the turn before surging past a very game Goya Blue Chip. A double tonight for Stutzman, Pothier, and Peter Pan. On we go with race 12 to kick off the late double. Acclaim the five Wicklow Hill and drops down and gets taken for 50,000 by Ray Remen here. Leading question got shuffled. Infallible, well rated by Pierce. Usher Hanover and Rene Poulin. Up on the outside comes more money. Towards the inside, Malcontent is third. More money is hung out now third on the outside leading question is fourth pan on the run is fifth the favorite wicklow hill end is sixth at the quarter skyway is seventh going up mob scene from eighth stringing along an infallible the quarter 27 2. down the back stretch and more money now flows to the front with campbell Usher Hanover back in second. Malcontent is third. Leading question fourth to the outside. Wicklow Hill in, inching up into fifth. Pan on the run is now sixth. Skyway is seventh. Underway is mob scene eighth. And saving ground, infallible at the back is stringing along. And halfway home now. And Pullen regained command with Usher Hanover in 56 and 3. Usher Hanover now opening up by two and a half lengths on the far turn. More money put to the whip there. Here comes the leading question in hot pursuit now. Second on the outside, followed quickly by Wicklow Hill in. Up now, dangerous in, looking to uh, come around leading question as that one goes to the inside. It's Usher Hanover put to the whip, leading question. Wicklow Hill in, surging up there with Skyway. Following that live cover and mob scene right behind that one. Three quarters, 125 and four. They're in the stretch drive. Usher Hanover now succumbs to Wicklow Hill End and Mike Lachance. Wicklow Hill End drifting out a bit, but maintains a pretty good lead between horses. That's leading question and Skyway is strong, still second, but it will be Wicklow Hill and scoring decisively here over Skyway and leading question. The eight-year-old by Vance Hanover grinds them down at the reduced level, giving Peter Pan a triple tonight back-to-back. -to -back. 
Mike Lachance. This one trained by Brett Pelling and Noel Daly. 13th and final four claims. The one, Westburn Magic N, blocked last out. Claimed by George Anthony here. The seven, Hansel Hanover, claimed by John Taddeo and Barry Siegel. Was up, taken by Anthony Regina. And Taomi, claimed by Sean Valley. Looking for room up the cones. Collector's piece. Between them is Was Up hanging in there and Scooter Hanover. But it's Westburn Magic N. Jim Morrill Jr. gets his third winner of the night. Was up, up for second. Jim Morrill Jr. and Joe Anderson team up with a six-year-old by Holmes Hanover who drops and romps and gets claimed for from Leahy, Kiefer, Blessing, and Bo Quist. Well, that wraps up Winter Festival Saturday here. Sunday is PLJ Family Day here at the races. We've got a full card of racing starting at 110. All activities for the family get underway at 11.30 a.m. We've got uh, carnival games, wagon rides, meet Hall of Fame uh, hockey players Rod Gilbert. Take a shot at former NHL goaltender Chico Resch in the uh, Fox Sports Slapshot game. Clowns, face painters, magic. Penguins, ice carvings, and more. Bring the entire family here to the Big M tomorrow night. Good night.